Today we're going to talk about why brothers and sisters of children with special needs are too important to ignore. I'm your host, Shante, and today I'm speaking with Don Meyer. Don Meyer is the director of Sibling Support Project. He is probably best known for creating Sib Shops, lively programs just for young brothers and sisters of kids with special needs. When I talk to people, or really anybody who will listen to me, about why brothers and sisters are too important to ignore, I like to leave them with a couple of points. The first point being is that just about anything you can say about being the parent of a child with special needs, whether that's special health needs, developmental needs, mental health needs, but anything you can say about being the parent of a child with special needs, you can pretty much put ditto marks underneath for brothers and sisters. Because if you look at the clinical and research literature that's out there about SIDS, you see that time and time again, SIBS experiences parallel parents' experiences. Secondly, these brothers and sisters will have the longest lasting relationship with that family member who has a disability. They will be in the lives of that person certainly longer than any service provider will, but probably longer than the parents will. It's a relationship easily in excess of 65, 70, 75 years. That's a long time. And because of that, I think it beca- they're deserving of some considerations. Uh, and sibling issues are lifespan issues. Preschoolers who are SIBs will have some unique concerns. Senior citizens who are SIBs will have some unique concerns. And those concerns are going to change and evolve throughout the individual's, indeed, the parent's lifespan. But when you start taking a look at the services and considerations that SIBs get, compared to the services and considerations that parents get, it's easy to see who's getting the short end of the stick. Right. Here's one little example. My project, the Sibling Support Project, we have a number of sibling-related initiatives. Um, besides SIB shops, we have social media uh, for teens called Sib Teen. Uh, it's a closed Facebook page. We have one for SIBs in their 20s called, oddly enough, SIB20, and then we have one for adult SIBs called SIBnet. This week, I hope you'll download and read what siblings would like parents and service providers to know, or how to let young siblings know you care, or both of them. I will also attach the links to SibShop's website, as well as all of the books we discussed in the show notes. I enjoyed speaking with Don. He really opened my eyes to siblings and some of the issues and concerns that they have to deal with. And the fact that they are extremely important, definitely too important to ignore. 